Good evening, everyone. It's a story you'll only see on CBS 7. 16 years ago, a cold-blooded double murder hit Midland County. It's a case that left an imprint on the hearts and minds of many in the Permian Basin, as well as across the country. It was also the first time in more than three decades a jury handed down a death sentence. Clinton Young was set to get executed just two weeks ago, but he learned he received a stay of execution seven days before he would take his final breath. And that's where we begin tonight. CBS 7's Lauren Trapea spent months digging into this case, and tonight she reveals what she learned. This is a CBS 7 special report, a senseless murder. Jay, I sat down with Clinton Young for one full hour the day before he was set to be executed. To this day, he maintains his innocence, says he didn't get a fair trial, and hopes to someday walk free. In tonight's special report, Senseless Murder, I'm bringing you a side of the story you haven't heard until now and taking you inside the mind of the convicted killer. I didn't kill nobody. And I didn't plan for nobody to kill. That's what somebody does is on death row. They're going to maintain their innocence. The truth is there, it just ain't been told yet. Why wasn't the truth told? Why didn't well, you because... testify? There was a lot of people that were very disturbed by it. Uh, it was a, a very cold and senseless killing. 16 years ago, a double murder ingrained in the memories of the Midland community. It all started with a crime spree across the state back in 2001. Two men were killed just days apart. The first happened in Longview, where 41-year-old Doyle Douglas was shot to death. The convicted killer, just 18 years old at the time, then kidnapped and carjacked a 52-year-old Eastland man and made the three-hour drive to Midland County to see his girlfriend. Samuel Petrie was shot in the head here on an oil field lease off Midkiff, just west of County Road 130. More than 500 miles away from Midland and nearly two decades later, 2,500 inmates sit behind bars at the Polinsky unit in Livingston. 34-year-old Clinton Young is one of them. Now my focus is proving what I've been saying all along, I didn't do it. I sat down with Young just 24 hours before he would have said his final words. On October 26, 2017, Young was set to be taken to the Huntsville unit to die. I was spending the last two weeks sending cars to people saying, hey, thank you for being in my life. Uh, if I see October 27th, you can write me again. I was thinking about, you know, getting myself emotionally, mentally prepared. Two years after the murder, a 13 and a half hour jury deliberation ended with 20 year old Young getting the death penalty. And I was very, very proud of the jury for Midland County when they came back with a guilty verdict. And I was just even more proud when they came back with a death sentence. But even to this day, Young places the blame on someone else. So if you didn't do it, who did? David Page. They did not do anything to challenge David Page's testimony. Whatever he said was the gospel. They can't tell me that if they had the case today that they would came to the same conclusion or that they would have sent me here versus him. Page, who was with Young on that fateful night, is serving a 30-year sentence for aggravated kidnapping. Take me back to that day. Tell me where you're innocent in all of this. I didn't get a fair trial. You know, I mean, there's no justice in executing me when they can't... <laughs> All the forensics show what I've said all along, and that's why so many people believe in me. While I was asleep, he shot him. You woke up too. That's what I woke up to. And he's admitted that to other people in jail. 5,840 days behind bars, 13 years on death row. Yeah, every day I'm working on something. I think about my case every day. I go over everything, I go over the record. I think if there's anything I miss, there's somebody else I can talk to. The case hasn't escaped Sheriff Gary Painter either. You just wait and wait and wait, and, and to me, that's that's inhumane. It could be many years. It could be a month. Uh, we just don't know. But Young still holds on to hope he could one day walk free. Well, if you believe I'm guilty or not, I deserve a fair trial. I have not had a fair trial. I didn't kill the man. And I'm not going to stop until I'm really, I'm never going to accept. I'm never going to accept anybody saying I did, regardless. I care if five years, life, whatever.
I pray that nobody else has to go through that. I know they're going to. It's just inevitable with human beings it's going to happen. Now, something I learned while digging deeper into the case, something you would have never thought. A country more than 5,000 miles away is advocating on behalf of Clinton Young. In fact, the ambassador of the Netherlands wrote a letter to Governor Greg Abbott requesting a stay of execution. And there was even a documentary made by a Dutch filmmaker pointing to his innocence. Reporting in the control room, Lauren Tropea, CBS 7 News.